if you guys do this, I kind of want a little piece. But y'all should go after Stormzy, cause he's like the Stormzy is a UK artist. He is I don't know really how to describe him besides like the probably the Drake of Europe right now. You think yeah. so? I'm gonna go out on a limb. All right. But I don't know. I mean, there's Ed Sheeran, but like then <laughs> Stormzy, like what he does with music is like crazy, cause he can also do here's the gospel, here's that straight grim. So like the Skepta fashion and those type of ways, and he's like on GQ covers and settling to settling into his role as like top dog over there. I'm a big fan of Stormzy yeah. and I think that he's he's fantastic and I think you're right. He's on his way. I think it's a little early for him here. Mm -hmm. I think maybe if we did like the Crown UK. Ooh. Ooh. I, can we get that? Yeah. <laughs> like, even just put our name. Don't even. Hold on. We don't want it. nothing. We don't want nothing. Just put our name in fine print. <laughs> He'd be cool, but I think yeah. it's probably a little too soon for him too right now right for now. for a crown. Yeah, because he was here. I think he was here last night, two nights ago, and they had him at one of these record companies. Big picture up, came through and stuff like that. And he's supposed to have a show coming up in Philly soon. I was oh, gonna try God. to go to. But UK. I yeah, like man. That. Yeah, he, he's he's talented. You got your finger on the pulse of what's coming. <laughs> a, a lot of these kind of international artists mm -hmm. are starting to resonate, but it's tough. The UK doesn't necessarily always work over here. Yeah, Not really. Yeah, I don't know why. It, we I work, guess it's we the, work the accent. Is it the People, accent? Yeah. Because the lyrics aren't bad, bro. You just like, yo, yeah. they're getting at it. If you it's listen to true. Stormzy, shut up. It's gonna be, you're gonna be like, what? Bossy Bob. All these other stuff. I'm listening like, nah, this guy is going crazy i'm on the train like <laughs> i mean we've seen it with tiny tempa and dizzy yep. rascal yep. and uh, a lot of these uk artists that were like the touted mm -hmm. flyest acts over there just were like selling barely sobs out here mm -hmm. and and so i don't know what storms he could do yet in new york mm -hmm. but um so how do you feel I about I'm a, I'm a little more excited about it like a burner boy yeah, I was just oh. about to say that. That's okay. crazy. Definitely. Because <laughs> Boy. Burner, Boy, cause <laughs> Burner Boy has yeah. the African swag. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. right, yo, yeah. you can come with me too in America. Y'all want to come too? And everybody, uh, I everybody. don't know. I see them sell out a show here last summer. Crazy, and when I tell you son. these girls are singing at the top crazy. of their lungs from like, but their lungs from like start to finish without missing a beat. I Having mean, that type of impact on a crowd, must, that's crazy. I sing too, bro. Like, I I yeah, love Burner yeah, Boy. That's, that's <laughs> energy. Like yeah. that's got a little bit of like a Sizzla vibe. Mm. Sizz, like like I'm talking Sizzla. Sizzla. I, oh, yeah. Sizzla like <laughs> Jamaica. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, some popcorn, fest, a little popcorn. Like, you know, late popcorn? night, like the you guys, shooting the fire. In you guys the done air. any interviews with um any like you know reggae artists? I've worked with reggae artists uh -huh. many, many times. Okay. Like I did all the endorsements for VP Records 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And that was um, super early on. And right when I got my career started, like my first job was an agent mm -hmm. when I was 22. And I tried to sign Sean Paul. Mm -hmm. And so. Damn, 22. I was, yeah, I, I got to work at this boutique agency. The money. I skipped the mail room again like i kind of had my own strategy <laughs> where it's like That's i wasn't thing. gonna Why go the, the old school <laughs> system i was yeah. gonna try and uh, try and do it my way yeah and 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 kind of not waste time so i got it a boutique and uh we did we did um we we're trying to sign x this agency had just gotten funding the ceo was like you can be my assistant but if you sign artists you can be an agent no no red tape so first act i tried to sign was the yin yang twins and they like were like dj smurf was their manager mr collie park he was like cool but we're not signing with anybody then i tried to sign sean paul and so i he had this song give me the light, mm -hmm. Just give me the light. <laughs> i got him to go to dinner with me in koreatown and like we had a nice conversation and we became friends actually like oh, i did wow. a, i i set up his tours in dubai and like God. i brought him to india and like we did a lot of international business he was like we're not signing with an agent in america mm -hmm. but like we can work together bring us yeah. opportunities then the first act i signed was clips mm -hmm. and uh i i was 22 
and I was their Jeez. agent, and they had a, a, a little street song called Grindin', mm-hmm. and Pharrell was on the beat, and I was just like, the Neptunes, these people are out of this world. Mm-hmm. Crazy. And they were on this terrible tour that was all messed up, and they said to me, if you can fix this tour, we'll sign with you. And I had no idea what I was doing. Sheesh. But we worked weekends. I had mm. a boss, and my boss showed me how to do it. We worked around the clock on the weekends, and we took grinded into this, like, well-polished tour. Mm. And it became this, like, street tour anthem song. And then the album came out and went number two on the pop charts. Jeez. Money. That's such, work. And such then achievements. Yeah. all of a sudden, Nelly called and wanted them to go on his arena tour. Mm-hmm. And then Jay-Z called and wanted him to go on, wanted them to go on his European tour. And mm-hmm. I went on all of it. And then 50 Cent called Whew. and asked him to go on That's crazy. All it takes is just that college one. tour. And so... I was 23 and representing one of the hottest touring acts in the country. All it takes is that one. I'm not going to get too much into detail here, but being 23 and being behind the scenes, very important with these top name rappers for me, had to be very rewarding. It was fun. (laughs) You know, I still pinch myself. Like when Crown is like on television or like partnering with, MTV, BET, and like some of these companies that I dream of. And then mm-hmm. uh, a couple of years ago, I was hosting a show on hot97.com called Hot in Tech, mm-hmm. where we were breaking down what's going on in tech. But like, it was really fun. I'd be pinching myself. I'd be like, I get to, you know, my 20 year old self would just die that like I'm producing shows with the biggest names in music on MTV and hosting a show on hot97.com. And killing shit. It was fun. Yeah, it's, man. It's, uh, it's, Yo, it's a it's a though. fun industry. It's a it's a it's a it's one of these businesses that um, sky's the limit if you can make it happen. The shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna make it happen, bro. We try to make it happen. Yeah. We gonna make it happen. Bro. <laughs> we Most see definitely. all we see all your success that you have, and it's great to see that if we continue to put the work at, like the work in and so keep our work ethic high, we'll and be stuff rewarded. Like that, it's rewarding. Like yeah. you see, like you say, you're comfortable. Like you sit there, you're comfortable, see you off your own business and stuff like that. So it's good to see like the finished product of what it means to yeah. work hard and put in the work, the OT if needs be and stuff like that. So congratulations on behalf of the family. Like continue and you still you say you never still really hungry. gonna let up. You're yeah. still hungry. So, still hungry. so I appreciate that's good it. to see that. Oh, I, I, you have that. to be. Because if you fall back, you fall off. Automatic. And mm-hmm. it's just you got to stay hungry yeah. and you got to stay never thirsty. True. You know, you got to constantly want it. And it's just about putting yourselves in those positions. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's just being lucky and knowing what to do with it once you catch it. And yeah. sometimes it's just about being persistent. Right. Mm-hmm. What's the big win? Like, what's the what do you, what's the goal you want to manifest with this podcast? over time damn i had that question next for you i um mm-hmm. boom the, the, goal, <laughs> the goal of this podcast from um, that i probably want to manifest is for us to like pop just like pop in a major way for i feel like we have the content that can help a lot of people in a world where you know depression is on the rise and stuff like that we have comedic content we have informative stuff over here so if we can help more people than we're already helping and in terms of like comedy wise we can't if you need $100, we can't give you $100. You know what I'm saying? We just got out of college. We don't have that type of money to give you But if you want to laugh, we can give that to you. So the goal is to make more help more people in a comedic sense. Love it. And yeah. build with people. Build Most with definitely. And put yourself in yep. smart conversations yep. and great, great, create relationships mm. and grow audience and collaborate and, yeah. it's, you know, open up new doors. Definitely. And oh. It's I, wild. It's wild like the... Like the doors that you could open with this, like it's just so wild. Yeah, yeah, man. You got a platform. Yeah, that's one of the, probably the craziest things. Is like, like we have a platform to come in and just like be ourselves, be ourselves, platform, most definitely. And it's sometimes it gets a little bit bigger than we can control, and like it's like wow, just seeing the reactions is like you know when you don't expect something 
but then you should never ever like really doubt yourself on it like it just wouldn't pop but but it's popping we made the shade room on thanksgiving yeah we had like a really big post in the shade room again is one of the biggest blog pages for the culture so us being posted on there we posted like some funny thanksgiving stuff us being posted on there brought us this whole new attention it's just like oh the anxiety factor kicks in so speaking of anxiety and you being the ceo of new agency having your own business like how do you deal with the stresses that come with being yeah. new agency ceo having crown all the successes that come like how do you deal i think the key is just kind of having like a work-life harmony mm -hmm. i feel like i've started to prioritize health Mm -hmm. and and kind of wellness Definitely. and it makes a big difference uh as much as the hustle and the grind you don't turn off mm -hmm. i know that i perform better when i put good things in my body when i uh w when i sleep right mm -hmm. i'm wearing this ring that gives me data on the monitor monitoring my sleep oh, and really? my steps like i kind of find it fun to make myself run as good as possible. Mm. Um, and the, the kind of homeostasis of mind, body, and spirit. Mm. So meditation has been super important and impactful for me. I picked that up about seven or eight years ago. Mm. And it was something I wish I learned earlier. Yeah. It's, it's so powerful to just kind of like shut your mind off and tune into yourself and to your breathing center yeah. um and center yourself and, mm -hmm. and it's been something that if you do it regularly it's like a, a muscle like going to the gym for mm -hmm. your mind and so i'm i'm a big fan of, of that and uh journaling mm -hmm. you know taking care of uh writing your thoughts down mm -hmm. working with started that working yeah. with with a coach um therapy uh therapy 2020 yes sir therapy is remarkable yeah. how you got somebody that can listen to you as you kind of work through what's going on in your head it's mm. it's something that i never thought i would want to do growing up mm. but um once i first i started therapy and then i started meditation mm. and i saw myself grow tremendously as an executive that was the mo kind of moment where I realized I didn't want to represent artists mm. in the same capacity and that I wanted to shift into this new business model. I was hanging out with a friend, mm. having a, a drink. Um, he actually just is on tour with Oprah right now doing meditation. But I was like, it's sure, a war Oprah. every day. You know, I had this kind of like Brooklyn mm. mentality where I was like, every day I feel like I'm at war, I'm at battle. And he was like, mm. that sounds like hell. <laughs> like why would, wanna, why would you want why would you want to live like that for your job like you're choosing that mm -hmm. and i was loving it but i was also like in this doggy dog mentality of not thinking like abundance and not really being aligned and he was like sounds like you would really benefit from meditation and before that it sounds like you'd benefit from therapy mm -hmm. so i started with therapy and then i went into meditation and it just cleared up my mental state wow. and allowed me to kind of see uh, potential. Mm. And, and again, the key to life is feeling aligned. When you feel aligned, you see abundance. Mm -hmm. You're not looking at what other people are doing and saying, I'm moving from a place of scarcity. You feel like, I got this. this. I got it. And you already can start to know that what's coming next is coming mm -hmm. so like manifesting in a way sort of in you believe ways. in manifesting i you know i'm i like it in concept in theory i'm not mm. uh, yeah definitely definitely, definitely. It's, yeah. it's easier said than done but definitely. um yeah I'm, i was just actually coming from a dinner where uh a friend was talking to me about how we were going to manifest something together mm. and so that was interesting like mm. you know what i'm willing to take a, a a flyer she said 10 <laughs> minutes a day mm. for you know until we've manifested this mm -hmm. we're gonna work on these ideas and we're just gonna continue to repeat it until we live it mm -hmm. i 
come back to me in, in six months and I'll mm-hmm. tell you if I manifested this. <laughs> All right, man. Well, but six months. One thing I can tell you that's for sure has been um, meditation mm-hmm. has been a game changer. So major for 2020, we gave a list last episode of things to do to better yourself in 2020. So a major focal point, a major thing you were talking about is self-care. So making sure your body's right, running, Body. eating right. What's yeah. that drink? Kombucha. What's that? The um, kombucha. This is oh more. God. I wouldn't say this is the <laughs> healthiest thing in the world. It's mm-hmm. just fun. And uh, the joke was that kombucha was the new champagne. Oh God! That was at least the Not fun my we champagne. were having <laughs> for, uh, on uh, mm. on New Year's Eve. Cause we, you, when you wrote, you we um, we was gonna get you some kombucha, and then Ryan came in like, oh man, this is this is disgusting. <laughs> we're, all, we're all just listening to him like, yeah, like what like what it tastes like. It's like yo, it's bitter. It's bitter. You just trash it <laughs> the whole time, and you come in, you're like, oh kombucha, my like, guy, right, man. <laughs> Wait, yeah, no, I I I'm a, f- I just it's an acquired taste. Mm-hmm. But um, with time, you feel clearer from it, and yeah. that's the goal. Mm-hmm. You want to be your best so you okay. can give your best to the world. Yeah. Wow. And so the way to do that is to treat your instruments the best that they can. Your, your best assets are your mind, your heart, and your, your body. And so yeah. if you can treat those with the respect that they deserve, knowing that that's the vessel that's going to achieve your goal that you're manifesting, which is to bring happiness and to reach all these people. Yeah. It just makes more sense, right? Not, that yeah. you wouldn't do things that are going to, you're only going to put fuel in your system that is going to make you run the best you can run. Longer, all that. Like a Toyota Camry. <laughs> 1997. Oh, chill. So, <laughs> but, um, so that, I wouldn't say kombucha is like the be all end all, uh, but it, it, to me, it's it's a little bit of a pick me up, fun drink that doesn't yeah. hurt me. I stick to Bel Air as my champagne. I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Hen like dog. It. I'm a, I'm a <laughs> big fan of, of Bel Air too. Shout out Bel Air. I, I think that we did the uh, the Ray Schrimmer partnership. Oh wow, oh, for real? Yeah, for the Sheesh. for the gold bottles. Yeah, we relaunched gold, gold last year with Ray, and uh, it it was. Yo, they don't miss. Ray they Schrimmer are amazing. Does not miss. They They're don't so miss that talented, all. and I don't know if you saw like all the content they put it like it. Bel Air, it was a brand that understood that they were independent; they could play by their own rules Do what they and want, to yeah. leverage hip hop as a lifestyle product, or wow. at least like leverage allow hip hop to leverage them as a lifestyle product. Mm-hmm. And they really got into not just being like a quick, cute vanity post. No, like. Bel Air was the movie. Yeah. And I think you guys should have some bottles up here. Definitely. Yeah, yeah we should figure yeah, out how to yeah, get you some yeah, scent out here. I like yeah, that. Please. That Bel Air is your drink of Most choice. Most definitely. Thank you. Please. <laughs> Bel Air, yeah. They're a company that's about supporting culture. Yeah, wow. Well, well, yeah, we're here for that. We definitely. <laughs> we're on the rise. There's a ladder up right now. So it's like, but, um, and we'll, especially artists on the, and talent on the rise. Yeah, we really appreciate that. We'll love that. We'll put it. Right here, right there. We're supposed to do that with the box waters, but they understand. We got it right here. <laughs> All right, boom. All box. 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 <laughs> but um, for me, so real quick as we wrap up. So in, like I said before, I said I'm saying it for the third time. Everybody in 2020 is building a business. What is your advice? Ak right here has a business. Oh yeah. Show, show, show him the shirt, guys. Show him. Oh, yeah. my own uh, clothing line. Ooh. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Uh, Different drip clothing. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Yo, bro, much. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I did not know that was yours. I was about to ask you where you got that from, really? like after the show. Pretty yeah, much, yeah, like I, I, I'm trying to start a clothing line where, like, you know, people could like show their feelings more. You know, I feel like you know us as people, we like kind of like you know hide in the shadow and we like hide our feelings a lot. So, pretty much, this is like, putting yourself out there. You know. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm guessing you're heartbroken that. based off your shirt. Hey, hey. <laughs> episode. Was, was, was. We'll talk next episode. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, with everybody starting a business and stuff like that, what is some advice you have from start, not say finish because your journey is far from over, but from start to success? What do you think or like for like main, you know, things to go through? My advice is fail fast. Mm. Mm, I never heard that before. Get You'll know if you've got traction. It's the best when it connects. Mm. And if it doesn't, like, pivot. Yeah. And don't stop. 
find a lane that you're passionate about, go for it, and like swing the bat and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, give it another shot, and then like try and get to a either point where you're making it or it's flopping mm. fast and don't get discouraged. Yeah. Then pick up from the next one. Like it's a process. Overnight success takes ten years. Honestly, and so you sheesh. think that like y- it looks easy, it's gonna take all of these experiences mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to add up. So if you know if if like this shirt, try to get it hot as quick as possible mm-hmm. in certain instances, and then either hope it takes off or that it flops. Okay. If that's the goal to go big. Okay. But I think as an entrepreneur, it's just you got to think about what your goal is, mm-hmm. yeah, and really be aligned with what your goal is. And and then shoot your shot, mm-hmm. and and if you miss, pick it up and shoot again. Again. And if not, pivot. Then yeah, or if it goes in, um, get it and 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 build off the success of that that last one. So Kobe Bryant, your goals. I mean, Kobe Bryant works harder than everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that's the key with Kobe is mm-hmm. like, and that's mm-hmm. another great lesson mm-hmm. is like nobody's working harder than Kobe. Nobody. Nobody's shooting in the gym like he is. He's getting mm. his shots. And, I mean, that you got to kind of have that mentality as an entrepreneur. The people that are going to get there are going to be the people that outwork everybody else. Definitely. The overtime. And to piggyback off of, I mean, to piggyback off of me saying your goals is far from, you far from finish. What are your end goals for yourself and for your business? I feel like there's a, interesting opportunity right now in the music bu- the business of music mm. and so i feel like new has allowed me to get involved in all of these amazing creative deals mm. and i feel like there's a, a bigger opportunity by kind of bringing brands and artists together the glue and and so i want to just continue to grow mm. in that area do bigger deals help more artists help emerging artists more build mm. more programs where brands and artists can live together i think that's kind of my wow. sweet spot is like the intersection of music brands and culture wow. and so i i want to kind of keep digging deeper into into that niche mm. and uh you know obviously keep growing the things that i love doing and keep getting better and smarter i think crown we'd love to do 10 more amazing episodes at least this year mm. and, and we we're off to a great start with, you know, one for one with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. It's a major one. That's, for a, one. that's a big start. And so, Smith is probably one of the yeah. biggest people on Instagram right now. He's amazing. Yeah. That guy is just got it in spades. He's so <laughs> he's so on fire. There's just uh, yeah. there's just one Will and he's on. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was fun to work with them, and, and that's our first foray into movies. I could see other verticals coming too, but um, yeah, we want to just be in all the right spots at the right times. Yeah, there. All right, well, you know, like I said before, we wishing you nothing but the best, praying for your success on your journey, and we we right here watching, man. So yeah, most definitely. And you guys too. I feel like you're up to something here. You got yeah. the artillery. It's just a matter of time before the you catch the world's attention. Trust me, we're it's humble. Time. We're humble. Sorry, man. Yeah, right. I believe it. One more thing before we end, before we wrap up. Before we wrap up, hold on. Hold on. Let me do the outro. All right, (laughs) boom. So like I always say, if you tune in and you like what you heard, tune in and like it some more. If you tune in and you hate what you heard, tune in and hate it some more. It's going to be the same shit. It's already some shit today. You heard a whole lot of shit today. If it was some good shit, you heard some shit today. If it was some bad shit, you heard some shit today. If it was some... (laughs) All right, shit, feel me? You still heard some shit today, feel me? It's already some shit today. I'm your boy, Marcus. Uh, Q. Box. Jesse K. Yes, sir. K, <laughs> yes, sir. Man. Guest here out here in Times Square, New York, in the house. Feel me? I already know what's going on, man. So, uh, we got to swear into that. Yeah, we're Whoa. like. So, we got you. Um, We're starting something new starting here. Starting something new. On the show, we're like, we like, whenever we get guests, like, we make yeah. like a little big head t-shirt with like their face on it. So. Yeah, feel me? It's the very first copy. You're getting Whoa, the very first one. The drip? Bit. Oh Lord! Wow, a little bit and then feel me to sleep with you can sleep and then yeah 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 feel the me. first it's official fly you can sleep in that feel me and then 
man. And then we got the drip, Whoa. the different drip hoodie for it's you. It's just different this drip. <laughs> yeah, man. It's something about it. It's not the same as the usual. Look, baby, I made it. <laughs> I you can get you. Uh, you, uh, you can give it to your girl. She can sleep in that shirt. Wow. You can wear it as a pajamas. You could do it. You at the beach. You feeling yourself one day? Close the big deal. Whenever you close the big deal, can you please wear that shirt? <laughs> I'm gonna call you guys what I do. All right, bet. And then we got you the different drip hoodie right here. Whoa. It's called a mass pain hoodie. You got a dude on the back hanging upside down. Oh my He's crying. goodness. When you feel like you want to cry, you just wear this one. All right. Yeah, wow. feel like sad. Sad I mean, boys rap, huh? Yeah. So. Different drip. Woo. The drip's just different. <laughs> so, boom. The drip is just different. Thank you guys. Right, Thanks no a doubt, lot. Man.